everybody. <laughs> um, today I'm talking about fears that I have. Okie dokie. Um, so, I have some very unusual fears and the first fear I have is fires. I hate anything to do with fires. I'm not too keen on candles. I'm a bit scared of Bunsen burners, but like proper big fires, just they scare me. Um, the reason why I have this phobia of fire, fire, let me try again, fires, is because I, a couple of years ago, when I was eight, I think, um, actually it was quite a long time ago, when I was eight, um, I went to my great aunt's house for a holiday and we, it was around night time and like that year I'd had my ears pierced so I went to my mum and because I'd forgot, like I'd been led, a, led awake for ages and ages and I went to um, go talk to my mum because I needed this ear stuff that you have on when you have when you first have your ears pierced and I go to my mum and I say mum I need um, to put some of that stuff on and so we put it on and we came back into the room and uh, and my mum was like it smells a bit smoky in here and I said to her yeah I thought it did as well and that's why I haven't been able to get to sleep for a while so she called in uh, my dad and my brothers to um, come and help her investigate the room and um, so we were looking around we thought oh it's probably just a bonfire outside so we smelt, smelt outside and there was just it wasn't coming from outside so we thought okay it's got to be in the room um so we looked around and we took off a bed cover to find a burnt hole in the bed i'm not lying there was a burnt hole in the bed and it was where somehow an old electric blanket had been turned on and it was burning a hole all the way through the mattresses and what was even worse was the fact that it was in my great aunt's house <laughs> so it it was quite an awful thing to have to tell uh my my great aunt uh, um but when we did discover it i was in tears I had to go into the lounge away from it and my brothers were there and they were like it's okay Naomi just, everything's fine just relax and um and like I was literally like crying my eyes out and my parents were just in the room like smacking it with a pillow just like oh, wow but yeah it, it that probably wasn't the best thing but pff, oh well um, so yeah, that's how I got a fear of fire. So, the second fear I have is heights. Now, I've always been afraid of heights. Like, when you stand on a tall building and you look down, it's just... It's like, I, I don't think I'd ever be able to go on the London Eye. It's just too big and too scary. But yeah, I hate heights and I always have hated heights um I'm not too bad with like if it's not too high because it just it's not as bad as it used to be so um three I'm scared of the dark because I always feel like I'm gonna crash into something and or see something I don't want to see or or I just feel like there's gonna be like a burglar or something there. I don't know why. It's just don't mix with that either. Yeah, I have a lot of things I'm scared of. 
But I'm scared that, like, I will go into a toilet cubicle. You know, like, when you go into, like, a fancy restaurant or, like, oh, I need to go do my business. And then you go in the toilet and, like, you see the toilet door close and you're just like, okay, well, you just go in, don't you? But me, I'm just like, I'm scared that there's going to be a dead body behind it. That is probably like the weirdest thing anyone's ever heard. But I get so freaked out over this and I'm like, but, but what if there's a body behind? Like, just lead on the toilet or on the floor or something. It just, oh, yeah. Um, five, I'm scared of spiders. I hate spiders. Like, when they just crawl around and they crawl all over your floor and 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 then you see them and you might like open a drawer and there's a big one in there and also i went to my grandma's once and i was playing on her piano and there was a massive house spider right next to me and that freaked me out <laughs> um so yeah i'm scared of spiders six I'm scared that something, like, when I'm led down, there's going to be something like an earwig or some kind of crawling creature going to come and go into my ear and lay eggs or wriggle around in my ear and just, oh. Like, I know earwigs, the whole thing about earwigs possibly crawling in your, in your ears is probably like a whole lie but it's always freaked me out like just the thought of something just like crawling up into your ears just ugh. um bees and wasps i'm scared of bees and wasps because you know how like you're outside you might enjoy the sun and they think oh it's a lovely hot day Yes, let's put my feet in a cold water and swim in a cold pool or something. But I hate it when you're just standing there and suddenly a bee or a wasp or anything that stings you just starts whizzing around your head and whizzing after you and you're like, Ooh, I do not want to get killed by that. Well, you obviously wouldn't die from it, but I've, I've never been stung before. I've never known what a sting feels like. And I'm hoping that I never do get stung because it's supposed to hurt a lot. So, that's what people say. Um, okay, so, um, where was I? Oh, yeah, A. I'm scared that when I drink something, like when the liquid is like going into your mouth, I'm always scared that like an insect or some kind of fly or bee is gonna suddenly float up, either dead or alive, to the top of the surface of my drink and make me freak out and spill it everywhere. Yep. It is. It gets me every time I look into a glass of drink. I'm just like, please, nothing be in here. Nope. Nope. <laughs> so, yes, they are my fears. Um, I think it's turned sideways again. How annoying is that? These seriously turn sideways. Turn it sideways then. Um, so yeah. They're my feels, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching.